Hey guys, Crypto Mike. This is part two of the Bearable Guy 123 examination of his Christmas puzzle and the calendar within it. All right, I'm going to be quick about this. Take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Crypto Mike. All right, and I also want to tell you I hit 100 subscribers and I feel like giving back. All right, since you've given me so many thumbs up and views I'm gonna give you guys not every one of you guys but three people three winners uh, 100 XRP 100 XLM and a thousand digibyte go to one of my previous videos it's called a uh, giveaway it's just a giveaway video you'll find the title um, go in there type in the comment section which one you want XRP XLM or DGB and I'm going to use a random comment picker and I'm going to pick one for each of those coins next week on Mother's Day and then I will send it directly to you as soon as you give me the address. Okay, go do that. Um, now let's get into it. Okay, I wanted to reiterate the one that I said in the last video again because I thought this was so interesting and it might be just true. Okay, so Digital Asset Bastiat says david schwartz indicated to the public that he sold ethereum at four dollars i believe right before it pumped okay he sold his ethereum right before it pumped now david schwartz is an inside guy if anyone would know things he would okay he's been in the crypto space he's he might have be he might be satoshi he he put out a 1988 patent for something very, very similar to blockchain technology. In 1988, that was two years after I was born. This guy knows things, you guys. He's an insider. Just like Bearable Guy 123. Okay? Also, he put out a picture just three hours ago and he wrote, I'm at a beautiful small airport cafe. I asked my wife where the restrooms were. Follow that rooster, she said indicating a rooster near our table. The rooster led me right to the restrooms. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> That's kind of a weird thing to say. Maybe he's just kind of a weird guy, you know? A little quirky. That's cool. There's a bearable guy. Um, But also, maybe he's trying to say something. I don't know. A rooster near our table? Maybe. Okay, so maybe he's talking about a little statue of a rooster or the wallpaper but then why was it the rooster led me right to the restrooms why is that a big deal like why why would he write that i don't know let's think about that one okay let's not discount that all right anyways uh so i went to coil all right yeah you know, i'll save it for for the end um so let's go back into this one um, now I was at the end of my other video I was right in the middle of going over here and I was pointing this out it's a gavel judges gavel okay so I'm thinking there's a lot of stuff going on legally and you guys know we're in, a, in the middle of a big shift right now um, the power structure is going to be shifting there's a lot of sealed indictments Okay, I'm thinking maybe this has something to do with that, or maybe it has something to do with regulations. But people are going to be going to jail. There's a lot of, you know, you know, you've seen the news lately. Okay, there's a big, there's a lot of shit going on. Okay, judges are going to be smacking that hammer. And he is saying it's going to affect our XRP. I think there's going to be a lot of geopolitical shifts in the next few years. And they could very well affect our XRP. All right. Now, this is also a political thing. I think this is Capitol Hill or it might be the White House. If it's the White House, it probably means that they do have ties to the White House. And they have been they're talking to White House staff. And they do have ties to the IMF. And they have ties to a lot of different uh, entities. Okay, so now let's take another examination of this calendar. Okay, 2019, the sun is behind May, Fidelity, NASDAQ, XRLX, Liquid in Index, Fidelity, Bitcoin trading is coming out within a few weeks, they just announced. All right, now 
I want to show you these little. Okay, you notice how, you notice how there's a uh, icy mountains right here. So maybe this is the beginning of it. The sun's starting to shine. Okay, it might go up in May. All right, it might be going down in these months. Okay, we're not sure exactly, but I have a feeling it's gonna go up in May. All right, if not May, then early June. But then I think maybe maybe what this might be saying is that it's going to drift downwards like the cold uh, crypto winter we just had. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Might be drifting downwards. And then all of a sudden, this is kind of weird and cool. And it might just be telling us that maybe in September we're going to see a bounce up. Maybe in October because you see how the grass is green and it gets greener and greener and greener. Maybe we'll bounce up. We'll see some green. Maybe we'll see a little more green. Then in November, we'll see more green. And in December, we'll see even more green. That's what I think. Okay. That's why I, uh, let me see. Where is it? I made the thumbnail like this. Okay. So in the first, in January, we were down. Okay. February, we were down. March, we were down all month until like the 30th, I think. Then we shot up. But then we, we just went right back down in April. Now, May, May 1st exactly, okay, I think they announced it April 30th that NASDAQ was going to come out and start using, um, putting XRP on a, a liquid index. They were going to put it out there. They are going to put out a liquid index for XRP, L, X. And now it, it takes the average of all the, of the, the global average of XRP and it puts it all together with a 30 second, um, APL API time. Okay, so every 30 seconds it's it's accurate to the 30 seconds. All right, and it's gonna be the most accurate price of the XRP. All right, they already have one for Bitcoin, they have one for Ethereum, and now they have one for XRP. Okay, bearable guy already knew this was gonna happen. Okay, now he already knew Fidelity was gonna come out, okay, because they just announced they were gonna be starting Bitcoin trading in a few weeks. Fidelity is going to be huge for Bitcoin, guys. So maybe it's going to go up this month. Maybe the second half of this month. Okay? Like Barrel Guy was pointing to the fifth tooth, but he only covered half of it. Maybe that's what that means. It's going to be dark because it hasn't moved or anything the first few weeks of, of May. And then, well, it has a little, but not much. Maybe the second half of May, it's going to be bright. Like this, you know, the other side of the tooth was just bright white. Maybe we're going to be bright the second half of April or May. I'm not sure. But then maybe this means the icy mountains, the darker image behind these three months. Maybe it means we're going to be going down a little. I don't know. Maybe. All right. And then maybe September, the grass will get a little greener. Then it'll get even greener. Then it'll get even greener. And by December, we're in full on parabolic bull run mode. Maybe that's what this whole calendar meant. And I put these arrows because the first part of 2019, we're going to be down like we have been. Okay. And then the second part of 2019, we're going to see a lot of green. Just like it says here in the last four months, we'll see green. Because we haven't seen a whole lot of green lately. Maybe we won't see green. Maybe we'll see green and then we'll see red. Maybe we won't see green at all. This might not even be a green month. We'll see. We'll see if this is true or not. Okay. All right, you guys. So let's go back over to Coil. I checked out Coil. I signed up. Now I tried posting a video on it and it says, I want you guys to help me. If anyone knows what this means, I don't know what it means. I'm going to go check it out. But if you can tell me, that'd be great. This page is not web monetized. Make sure it includes a meta tag with a name of monetization. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go find out, but if you can tell me, that'd be cool in the comment section. By the way, go comment in my other video, the giveaway, if you want me to give you some free crypto. All right, guys? All right, so that's going to be it for this one. Okay, you guys have a great day. Try to uh, put some pieces of the puzzle together, guys. All right, tell me what you think about David Schwartz's post. See if Tell me if you think it's a riddle or if it's just a statement he made, just a post of a pretty picture. Okay, guys? Love you. Be good people. Spread the love. All right? Crypto Mike out.